I'm thinking I probably got uh, some type of uh, stick or maybe a clunk of mud I'm not sure but anyway I got it in my track and uh, I ran a track off it was on the left side of the unit so anyway uh, come on I'm gonna show you guys how to put a track back on when you lose it and also we'll go over how to once you grease put the grease pressure back in and expand the cylinder how to set your tension right so you're ready to go back to work anyway guys you know me let's get busy So guys, as you can see, I've uh, got Corey up in the cab and he is working the controls. It really works best when you have two people doing this. And so the first thing I'm doing is I'm releasing the, uh, loosening the grease fitting and you're gonna see here in just a second, if you'll be watching the bottom track, it's loosening up now. And you'll see that uh, piston is compressing and look at all the slop that is coming in the bottom track. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Once you get that set, then uh, as you can see i kind of went over with corey what i was fixing to do i've got a steel bar in my hand and i am going to be telling him exactly what to do so he's going to take the movement live you can see the arm coming down and then i'm going to have him move it slowly in one direction while i am prying uh, around it as it moves with that steel bar so you can see i'm pushing down with the bar and watch the track see it moving slowly and you'll see it move again here in just a second there you go and i'm just bringing it around and i'm getting it back on the inside the tread that it's supposed to ride on first one that i'm doing is the back which is where the sprocket is with the teeth on it and then uh, after i get this one on and i think it's falling into place right there yep you saw it kick over so now that tread is in place and so now i'm going to move up to the front and this way I'm gonna get Corey to go the other direction and I'm working it, uh, that one it slipped on me so I'm getting another bite. And you can see I'm pulling that tread over and he's going to slowly move it forward. I'm still working and getting a good bite on it and I think this time I get it, it moves forward. Yep, I got a good bite on it, he's slowly going forward and boom, it just fell right into track. So it's that easy when you got two people doing it. Okay, guys, I want to show y'all real quick. I'm going to see if I can get the camera up in here. This fit right here, you loosen, and it takes the grease pressure off of the piston in the front, and it lets it pull back, and therefore, you can see how much slop I've got. You saw where I worked it on. It takes two people, one guy inside working while the other guy's on the ground working with the crowbar or pinch bar. You just need a big steel bar to be able to manipulate it over. So now we're back on track. And so now I'm gonna put grease back in the piston and you'll see this tighten back up. go to where about a finger or two is underneath which is what I've got now so I am good on this side all right the next thing we're gonna do is fire it up we're gonna run the treads track around one way then run it back the other way and then we'll do one more check So I'm good on this side while I'm at it. Since I had a track come off, I'm gonna lower this side down. I'm gonna flip it around, raise the other side up, and double check it too. Let's make sure I don't need grease on that side before I start working the unit. All right, and as you guys will see, this side is plenty tight. If you look down, I don't have a finger, barely a finger's width on the bottom side. 
so this one the tension is correct all right guys you know me let's get back busy well guys as you can see uh, it's not the end of the world when you lose a track uh, had good instruction on how to do it by the way that was my first time ever putting the track back on and it worked exactly the way I was told it would work it's not that bad of a job to fix and it didn't take that long anyway guys I sure hope you're enjoying these videos if you will please consider hitting the like share and subscribe and uh, be sure to keep out for look up for more videos coming soon by the way uh, I'll include in the end screens uh, doing a lot of work now with the excavator and uh, I'll include uh, a project we did over at my other son's house when we were working clearing his debris and thinning out the woods behind his house so for now guys you guys take care thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one see you soon